Hi, I'm Marshall Jokes, and I'm really thrilled to be here in London at Phil Parker's. I did s several things developing. I, I kind of made um, it's kind of blindfold recordings. So I, I made one recording with like four different options um, and sent that around to people and asked them to pick. So recording in my setup at home. Um, and it was, it was interesting. Every single person picked this setup. And that, but you know, knowing that recording and playing live are different situations, I also went to two of my closest friends whose ears I trust. Um, I went over to one of their houses uh, one day, and they were both there. And I just say, okay, and I played it back and forth. And they were just like, no, this is the horn. This is the horn. So, you know, this is a bonus feature. But they, I'm originally from Colorado, so they put, um, and I'm you know really into the mountains and skiing. And these are Colorado wildflowers, and then they made this really cool design where with kind of the little mountain thing over my signature and then they put that on the uh, the, um, the counterweight as well. So, um, awesome, man. yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great horn. I love playing it. For many years, um, a big part of my development as a brass player has been uh, doing like a daily routine. And so I'll just share with you a few of the exercises uh, within that routine. Uh, one of the things I, I personally, personally am a fan of just buzzing, you know, whether it just be or sometimes I'll even improvise. Um, but just for me, it's kind of important for the airflow. But um, I most days start my day just like this. It's just, you know, kind of like long tones, getting the airflow going, getting everything working. I repeat that in all seven positions. Uh, one of my favorite exercises to do is I just like to take major scales from the bottom register of the horn and just alternate between an air attack and a tongue. So like... That's, I'm trying to get rid of that. That's the whole purpose of the exercise. Uh, one other thing I tried, I, I did every day for many years was just to build my range, was just taking scales from the bottom, legato scales from the bottom register of the horn with arpeggios and going up in half steps every day till I couldn't go any further. steps. I'll skip ahead now. As I get higher in the horn, I really try to think about relaxing, not, um, you know, not getting too tense in the playing. So, and I, you know, I always finish my routine um, with a bit of flexibility. I think that's kind of important. So, uh, this is one of my favorites. So, um, I also like to tongue them after I slur them, so... Um, and there's some extensions on those. What comes to mind, you know, first and foremost, is that I, I've never really liked when people uh, kind of um, categorize brass players. Oh, that guy's a jazz player. That guy's a classical player. You know, and um, the way I practice my routine, the way I approach playing my instrument, um, is 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 in a way that I hopefully can can tackle whatever music comes my way. I practice classical stuff every day. You know, um, whether it be you know Bordoni etudes or I love these uh, Marcel Biche etudes, you know these? 
Finding yourself in kind of an orchestral section or a brass choir or a brass section and that feeling of playing brass instruments where, where everything's just ringing together in tune. I had one piece I wrote on an earlier, uh, earlier record, it's called The Crossover, which is like a cl classical etude I wrote, which is, on the ends like a... It keeps going, but then and finally the band comes in and I go... You know, swinging and fast up tempo stuff, but so kind of combining those two worlds. Um, yeah, I guess if I have a philosophy, I would say it's that just approaching the horn not just to play jazz or classical, but just to play music, you know, music without um, limits, I guess. These two fingers right here? No, it's kidding. <laughs> no, but I, I primarily write at the piano. I, um, um, I generally just kind of like to sit down and search for a while until I start finding things. Uh, sometimes ideas come come to me in the, in the strangest places, and every now and then I'll, I'll try to remember those or even sometimes sing it into a recorder, um, and then maybe sit down at the piano later and try to hash it out, you know. Like, it's funny, right now I actually have like three or four tunes that I've begun, which is, I don't usually, I usually like to finish things, but if I have time, I love to like play through things and see if I can remember them the next day. I, know this, I kind of have this idea in my head that if something's good, I'll be able to remember it, you know. Now, there's a few tunes I will say that I do write at the trombone. If I'm writing kind of more trum, trombonistic, trombonastic, are these, are these words, are these tunes or trum, you know, more technical things? Like, I, I like to do a lot of stuff using the pedal register. Um, uh, then I kind of tend to write, you know, like...